You're listening to Factual America. We are as gods and might as well get good at it. What what did what does uh, Stuart mean by that? Uh, well, so we are as gods. We might as well get good at it. Um, it it's funny. It sounds a lot like you, you know how some people accuse scientists of playing God. That's a, that's an often quoted line in say a, a bad TV movie or show. It's like oh. Scientists thought they were playing God, you know, were trying to play God, and they created the zombie, you know, virus that made us all turn into into monstrous zombies and attack each other. Well, you know, uh, it, it, it sounds like that, and but I think what what uh, Stuart is is saying is, um, you know, from the beginning of mankind, you know, you pick up a stick and you can create fire. We 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 have slowly emerged from the the adolescence of of our species and bit by bit it's always been by using tools and by figuring out ways to survive in our in our environment and um, for the most part the tools have been something that have been beneficial to us protecting our families um, getting food even um, you know being able to store food everything we build is kind of is beneficial to us as a species but there's been a complete imbalance about how we treat the environment that we're around. I mean, we 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 treat the environment like it's a resource that we can plunder and and destroy, and there won't be consequences because, after all, the globe is so big, and and that turns out that that's that's very very wrong. I mean, what we've seen is that humanity has had uh, by creating more tools and more systems to protect ourselves and the things we care about, we're doing more and more damage to the world, and. We've gotten to the point, especially in the last couple of centuries, where we are so powerful. Our technology and tools are so immensely uh, unbelievable. Our ancestors wouldn't be able to recognize it as anything other than godlike, right? I mean, we fly in the air. We we can we can use energy to move vehicles. We we can do all sorts of things that just seem like magic, even a, a few hundred years ago. And so. We are as gods to Stuart. We are as gods because we have the technology and the power to do what we want to do. Um, but we are bad gods uh, in the in the sense in that we are destroying the planet in the, in the process of of looking after those things that we're interested in. So the idea is: well, what if we became good gods? What if we became instead just of trying to consume energy and make ourselves more comfortable, we did that, uh, but also to the benefit of the planet. We started to restore the ecosystems that we ourselves have destroyed. We started to reverse the extinctions that we ourselves have caused. We started to suck carbon out of the air that we ourselves put in there, thereby causing climate change. Let, you know, According to Stuart and the people who are thinking like him, let's stop pretending that we are ever going to stop you know, consuming and, and, and protecting ourselves and making ourselves more comfortable, but let's do that only with um, the benefit of the planet in mind as well. And so that's the balance that he's trying to hit with that quote, as far as I understand it. And then I guess, uh, David, he amends that quote slightly, doesn't he? I think towards the end of your film, even saying that, because uh, it probably, I don't know, maybe recognizes it's a bit of a the way that quote's been misunderstood. I think he says, we are as nature or something to that effect. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that was interesting. He said that towards the very end of our production. I mean, he, he, he had been saying we are as gods, like you point out, since the 1960s. And just through the course of our film, he started to, maybe it's because our film focused on these issues so much, he was reconsidering it, but he kind of has a, a, a sort of, a, it's not a change of heart. I think he means to say it's the same thing, but I think he finally realize, well, maybe there's a better way to say what I've been saying. And you're right. His idea was maybe we are as nature. You know, he wants to use nature to do things that nature was doing anyway, you know, but for the benefit of nature. So why can't we, you know, take our part into the ecosystems that we've destroyed by repairing those ecosystems in the same way that nature would? Um, so it's, it's an interesting thought. I mean, I think somebody could write a philosophy paper about it, honestly. <laughs> 